In this lesson, I'll teach you how to write IUPAC names for alkanes with substituents. We're going to start off with some easy examples, and in question number one, we're asked, give the IUPAC name for each of the following. Beginning with A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 carbons. The prefix for 8 is oct, O-C-T. And for alkene molecules, you end with the suffix A-N-E. That's the base term, so octane. In question B, we have a cyclical structure. Whenever you see a cyclical structure, you put in the prefix cyclo and then the rest of the name. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbons. That gets the prefix hex. So we have cyclo, hex, ane. The next one is also a cyclical structure. We have one, two, three, four. For a four carbon structure, we use the prefix but. So normally it's butane, but this one would be cyclobutane. Let's move on to question two. This time we see a hydrocarbon that has substituents. In other words, we have these functional groups that are attached to the backbone of this molecule. And the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms will serve as the backbone or main chain. You need to determine this first, and for this molecule in particular, it happens to be in the middle, where we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons covalently bonded to each other. And that on its own is called hexane. The next step involves numbering the carbon atoms within that hexane chain. And you want to number them based on the location of the substituents. Where it's closer to, that's where you start counting. So this methyl group is actually closest to this side. And if we were to start counting from this side, you'd start to see your substituents at the third carbon. But over here, if you count from here, you see it at the second carbon. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. The next step is to give the location and name for each substituent in the alphabetical order as a prefix to the name of the main chain. In this molecule, the substituents are bromo and methyl. And given that B starts before M in the alphabet, we write down bromo first. And we hyphenate the carbon number where the bromo is connected to. So the bromine here is connected to the fourth carbon. We write down four hyphen bromo. And we also have these two methyl groups, which we also hyphenate. They are located in the two and fourth position. So two, four, hyphen, and since we have two of them, we say dimethylhexane. That's the answer to question two. Let's move on to question three. Give the IUPAC name for the following compound. So let's see the longest carbon chain. We have this possibility, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is obviously the longest. Seven is heptane, so let me write that down, heptane. Then we have this substituent found right here, and it consists of one, two, three carbons. It occurs at the one, two, three, fourth carbon. So whether you started from here or from here, it's still going to occur at the fourth carbon. We'll write down four. And this substituent, this three carbon structure here, is called isopropyl. Now, of course, you would need to know that to answer this. You couldn't just figure it out on your own. But it's a common name. You say 4-isopropylbutane. And that's all one word. And there you have it, a short lesson on how to write IUPAC names for alkanes with substituents.